Welcome to the Genesis uh, release update for version 11.18.0 and Genesis POS version for 1.18.0 released on December 3rd, 2012. Um, the first one that I want to co uh, cover is customer management. So um, two extremely similar concepts, customer and loyalty member existed in Genesis. The information of a customer was a store uh, level record and not consolidated at HO. The information of a loyalty member on the other hand was central and could be accessed by all stores. While features like credit sale and customer advance tracking were conceptualized, it was observed that the redundant data of a single person when a person is both a customer and a loyalty member would create confusion for the POS cashier as to whether the customer or the loyalty member is to be tagged. The redundant data would also pose operational and reporting confusions. To make POS operations easier, user-friendly and to produ produce correct reporting, the concept of customer needed to be integrated with that of loyalty member. Implementing the following philo philosophy. All loyalty members are customers, but all customers are not loyalty members. There would be a single record for a customer who will also be considered a loyalty member if a loyalty card was issued to him. Customers along with loyalty membership card information will be centralized and available to all stores. As mentioned earlier, the loyalty member and the customer concepts have been integrated where all the existing members have been migrated to customers with all the existing details. Following modules were impacted due to the above change. The customer menu at the store and HO, the customer loyalty menu in store and HO, analytic report in store and HO, crystal reports in store and HO, settlement review in uh, HO, GV bill view in HO, pause bill view in HO, bill modification in store, GV bill view in store. Following is a breakdown of the impacted analytic reports. So uh, the bill collection at both store and HO, bill detail at both store and HO, bill detail summary at both store and HO, sale detail at both store and HO, sale summary at both store and HO, GV bill summary at both store and HO, GV bill detail at both store and HO, GV history at both store and HO, customer at both store and HO, and member management at both store and HO. Following is a breakdown of the impacted crystal reports, the daily summary and the pause bill register. So uh, let's now uh, quickly take a look at what we are going to, uh, how this has been implemented. So I'll uh, do a quick uh, rundown on this entire integration process. So let's begin by the first module, the customer module that has been introduced here. Um, so I am at retail and I've opened up the customer module and I have a customer here uh, by the name of Mr. Rahul Gangotri. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, up Mr. Rahul Gangotri and I can uh, either edit it that way or I can edit it uh, uh, generally from here. So uh, once I do that, um, I go on to the identity tab or the personal information tab for Mr. Rahul Gangotri his contact information I can see his loyalty information now if there was a loyalty card or if he was already a loyalty member then all the information for him would be displayed here I can also go ahead and add that to him at this point if I wanted to but for my example at this point I do not want to add him on uh, and then we again have the remarks column here so um, this is uh, how the customer um, uh, user interface looks like and we can add the customer edit the customer and if you want we can distribute the customer so let's uh, go ahead and distribute this particular customer so um, I have um, some uh, filter criteria that I can always give uh, in order to search for a particular customer uh, I'm going to search uh, since I know the name of my customer with the name So there it is, Mr. Rahul Gangotri, and I'm going to select him. I'm going to select my site. And um, I'm going to distribute him uh, to my site in Durgapur. Okay. Distribute. 
all selected customers was uh, successfully distributed to the sites and here is the progress bar showing that this has been completed so this is um, what the customer module would look like we can add edit and distribute a customer now let's go on to the next module um, there are some changes to the customer loyalty module so let's look at the card type so now again we can add a card type we can edit delete we can also um, create cards directly here from this menu and we can also allocate these cards so let's quickly create a card and as you can see there isn't much change except uh, that now it opens here and I'm going to again allocate this to um, Durgapur and I do not want to create any more cards so I'm gonna click on no so my cards have been created and since I allocated them through the generate uh, the create cards module I do not have to specifically allocate them separately but I can always do that if I wanted to from this particular menu which is the same that we had before just that the location has been changed now uh, let's go ahead and look at our um, the benefits module pretty much has remained the same so um, I'm just going to quickly open this and as you can see there isn't any change at all here but let me show you the member module and what the member module now shows you is um, any any customer who already who has a card associated to him will be displayed here so as you can see all of these members here are customers who essentially have a card so they are the ones who are displayed here uh, Mr. Rahul Gangotri since I just created him and as you saw he was not uh, having any card so th uh, that's why he's not being displayed here so let's quick go back to customers and <coughs> actually I just need to create a couple of cards first and not allocate them so I'm going to create a card and at this point I'm not going to be um, allocating this particular card so no oh I'm sorry I need to press yes no there it is my card has been created so now I'm going to go back and assign this card to our customer Rahul Gangotri so let's open this up and in my loyalty information I'm going to so this is since this was the only card it has been displayed here So now as you can see the loyalty card information is being displayed here and um, it shows that it's currently effective from today. So all of that is done. So now uh, Rahul has a card assigned to him and he is being distributed to the uh, site called Durgapur. So let me quick go back and show you how this looks at uh, the store. Um, so here I am at the store and uh, now I have um, as you can see in the customer um, module I can see Mr. Rahul Gangotri and um, if you um, would like to take a look at it this is the same customer with the same loyalty information and um, over here um, the customer module also has a couple of uh, um, facilities or um, features available so we can add a customer here we can edit and we can also download a customer if uh, a customer is present in the web database but not available to the store so what we can do is we can go ahead and click on download 
and uh, let's look for a customer that I know uh, might exist here so uh, so there it is Mr. Animesh Das and if I want I can go ahead and download it um, there is one thing that I wanted to show you before I proceed and I wanted to um, bring your attention to this particular field here which says web and local when I find a um, a remark like this it uh, usually means that this particular customer is actually available on the web as well as locally and uh, the only reason I uh, did not see it in my list before is because I have filtered this as you can see to show you only Mr. Rahul Gangotri so if I wanted I could have I mean at this point I have already downloaded uh, Animesh Das but if I wanted I could um, I could just show you his details so there it is, uh, Mr. Animesh Das, and uh, he's been a uh, member since 2004-2012. So he has a card number attached here too. So this is uh, briefly what the customer module looks like in POS back office. Now let's go ahead and um, uh, add a bill to this particular, um, add this customer to a particular bill. So let's go ahead and do that. And. Um, I'm going to select this item here. Yes. And I am going to first um, tag this customer to my um, bill. And I'm going to use Rahul Gangotri just because it's easier for me. But uh, if you wanted, we could always. We could always uh, search a customer from the web if we wanted to do that. But for my pr uh, particular example, I'm going to just continue with Rahul. So I'm going to search for Rahul. And there it is. And I'm going to tag him to my current bill. So there it is. And as you can see, I can see all his customer information here. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a payment. So um, as you can see, uh, since Rahul is a loyalty uh, member also and he holds our card he uh, can redeem his points if he wants to do that at this point so uh, I'm going to say a hundred rupees in cash and let's attach a redemption token here so he has a uh, hundred points that he can redeem Okay, I'm going to redeem 80 points because I've given 100 rupees in cash. So there it is, 180 rupees. I'm going to save this bill. Oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to create a session before I showed this example. So just give me one minute. <coughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and save the bill. The next thing that I wanted to show you was uh, our bill modification module. So I have opened here uh, the bill modification module and I'm clicking on the bill that I just created. And as you can see it says this data is read only. Any changes made will not be saved. So let's go ahead and it also of course uh, gives a reason. So we have a customer with a loyalty card tagged to this bill. No modification is possible. So we can open this and as you can see here we have Mr. Rahul Gangotri with a loyalty card number this and all the details of the bill. So this is um, how we have the thing now. The loyalty card and the customer are linked over here too. So um, this is uh, the possible modification area and now let's quick take a look at the gift voucher issue module. So uh, let's go ahead and um, issue a gift voucher to Mr. Rahul Gangotri. And there he is. And the moment we add uh, the customer name, as you can see, the loyalty card is displayed here. And then, of course, we also can see the redemption token, which is available for him in case he would like to use it. And uh, the rest of the module remains the same. We can go ahead and issue the gift vouchers and everything. And again, um, we can pay cash and also redeem some points here if he would like to do that. So uh, that is the change that we have here. 
And uh, let's now take a quick look at the reports. So, uh, as I mentioned, the reports that are that have been changed, the crystal reports that have been changed, are the daily summary and the um, pause bill register. So, let's quick take first uh, uh, take a look at the daily summary report. The report that I need to show you um, would actually be for a different date because I haven't created any data with a credit note uh, issued or received. Um, so in, in that scenario, uh, my uh, Mr. Rahul Gangotri would not be showing up here. But uh, let me show you the data of uh, uh, a previous data for Mr. Vijay Patel Roy. Now as you can see on um, the 22nd of November, Mr. Vijay Patel Roy had a credit note issued to him and for that as you can see the customer uh, name appears here and all the bill details and everything for him uh, appear below here. So uh, the same goes for uh, you know if there is a customer and he uh, has uh, uh, you know he's, re uh, he's received a credit note then his details would be showing up right here. So th this is the only change that has happened in the daily summary report. Uh, let's look at the POS bill register. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the POS bill register. And uh, this I can show you for uh, the same date. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here we have under the customer name we have Mr. Rahul Gangotri and we can see his payment details right here. So this is how um, the bill register report would look like. So we have the customer details listed here for uh, the bill register report. So now that we've completed our um, modules in um, store, let's look at some of the modules that were impacted in retail. So let's first start with the POS bill view module and um, uh, I'll go back to my site and I want to see the bill that I just created. So this is the Rahul Gango 3 um, bill that I had created and as you can see we can view the details here as well. So this was, uh, this was um, now integrated with the loyalty. Uh, now uh, let's take a look at the gift voucher bill view. Um, uh, since I did not create any new uh, gift voucher let me go ahead and show you Mr. Vijay Patel as uh, had shown you earlier. So uh, Mr. Vijay Patel was a migrated client and as you can see um, there was a loyalty card attached to this and now after migration we can also see the customer name available here. So this is uh, the change to the gift voucher bill view and uh, also let's look at some of the changes to our settlement review module. I guess I need to bring in some um, settlement modules, uh, settlements from uh, my store. So just give me one moment. So um, here it is. I have uh, a settlement, and I uh, settle. I'm, I'm at the settlement authorization uh, view, and what I wanted to show you is what my um, my uh, view looks like. So here it is. Uh, I have a I have the pause bills and the GV bills, and I do not have any GV bill for this particular date, but I do have some pause bills. So here it is. I have a bill number, and uh, uh, this has been. It gives me all the details. But what I wanted to show you is here how the uh, the name associated to my bills would be appearing, and if they had um, a loyalty card, then that would be appearing here too. And the same goes for the GV bills. We have the customer and the card number that will be displaying uh, for the customer. So that is uh, a settlement review uh, module. So now let's quickly take a look at our analytic reports and uh, the first one that I wanted to show you is the customer detail report. There are two uh, 
fields that have been added and the first one is the LP card number and the second one is the is loyalty member so these are fields that we can go ahead and now add and have them available for our customer detail report if we were to look at uh, the bill collection, the bill detail, uh, the bill summary, the sale detail and the sale summary uh, reports, there would be three fields that would be removed, the LP, LP member name, LP member uh, mobile and LP member mail. Uh, fields would be removed and instead the customer mobile and the customer email fields would be added. In the GV bill detail, um, the GV bill summary, the GV history and the GV uh, leaves inventory again the customer uh, fields would be added uh, for uh, to facilitate the customer details being added to the GV bill. So these would be uh, in brief the changes that were made uh, to the analytic reports and now let's go on to uh, the next um, point that we have on our um, presentation. The next point that I wanted to cover was um, a change to the settlement uh, uh, feature uh, at POS as well as an HO. There was a new comment section added both to POS as well as the HO section. So let me quick go ahead and show you that. So uh, here I am uh, at pause and I'm looking at uh, the settlement uh, module and uh, here as you can see we have the same old tabs accounting parameters are the parameter session. This is a new tab that uh, we have added it's called the comment tab and we can go ahead and add any comments that we may have uh, for that particular settlement. And then uh, um, the same thing has been added in each uh, so let me show you that. So this is the comment section that we have at retail and any comments that we would have added for any particular um, site would be displayed right here. So let's go on to the next section. The next change that I wanted to talk about is the Genesis back office change. A short name column has been added to site lookup under secondary sales. So in the site lookup, uh, there has been a column which has been added for short name. The user will now uh, be able to view the short name for the sites. Column width has also been increased for better visibility. So let's quick take a look at that. So here it is. Um, we have uh, a short name added and as you can see the short names for the sites are also displaying this also has been resized uh, for better visibility so this is what this change is all about the next change we are going to talk about is uh, another change uh, in uh, the genesis back office there was a change created for the AR, AR, AR AP voucher the user will now be able to see the pending documents in the adjustment window sorted on date in ascending order within each date the documents will also be sorted in the ascending order so let's quick take a look at this so here I am at the select pending document and the adjustment entry window and as you can see now uh, these documents appear um, as per the date in ascending order uh, with uh, the with 26-6-2012 as the first date and 22-11-2012 as the last date. If I had uh, multiple documents, uh, let's say 12-13, 12-14, 12-15 under 26-6-2012, those would have also been displayed um, in an ascending order for the same date. So that was the change that was incorporated here. The next change that I want to talk about is the changes to the stock analytic report. The uh, following fields have been added to the goods received details analytic report, um, the sent from uh, field. Uh, to the goods return detail analytic report, we have the sent to, the GRT status, the packet number and the packet status fields that have been added. So let's quick take a look at that. So here it is, I'm opening up the goods receive uh, detail um, analytic report and uh, there it is the send from field and I can go ahead and add it uh, to my report and have that available so that's that one and the other one that I wanted to show you was the goods return details report So once again configure, add source field, so there they are. Um, the GRT status, the send to, the packet number and the packet status. 
So those are the four new fields that have been added to the uh, goods return details analytic report. Uh, the next change that I want to uh, talk about is a modification of the category name. Uh, previously when a user tried to modify a category name an error was generated and the user was not able to update the same. However after this release the user will uh, no longer experience this problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So uh, let's take a look at this one. Um, so I'm changing category 1 to category 2 let's say. There it is. I'm sorry, I didn't select. There it is. So as you can see now the category name uh, for category 2 has changed to category 3. So this is the change. Previously this was giving an error. The next change that I want to talk about uh, is another uh, bug that we've addressed. Uh, in the ledger summary block, the charge amount was not showing sidewise value in summary and detailed uh, reports. So let's quick take a look at So here in front of me, I have a sales invoice register open for two different sites. And as you can see, the breakup is showing differently. But let's say I went ahead and changed the filtration to site name Ginny. and then I went and took a look at the report as you can see now only Ginny is showing and only the totals for Ginny are displaying so this was the bug we uh, uh, we have fixed in this particular release let's go on to the next one a stock check alert was not displayed when an item stock quantity was zero so this is the next feature that we are looking at let me quick go and show you how this has been added so here I'm on a screen um, on the delivery chalan screen and I have scanned a barcode which is 1036G1036 and I know the quantity for this item is zero. As you can see the moment I click on accept I get this uh, warning which says do not issue, uh, issue the item current stock is zero do you want to select the item anyways. So this is how um, this, uh, uh, this message will now appear even if the current stock item is zero which was not earlier being displayed. So let's go on to the next feature now. The next bug uh, that was resolved is uh, for managed outright customer side change in return quantity for ad hoc entries were being allowed. So this as you know shouldn't have been allowed. Uh, now after this uh, release this will not uh, uh, be happening anymore. So let's quick go back and look at this one. So uh, here I am at the items details screen and the outright sales return um, a module. Um, I have, uh, I'm trying to add remove a GRT document from site and as you can see I've opened this up and I have all uh, the, uh, the items displaying with uh, the return values and the rate. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to edit one of these. Um, so let's say I want to make this 650. As you can see, um, I, I guess you can't see me typing, but I just tried to edit that and nothing is happening. So um, this is the change uh, that we incorporated. And after this, um, so uh, the rate will not be allowed to change. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this particular release. Have a nice day. Bye.